equations can be called by different names like the very popular name as you know is the simultaneous linear equations. They are also called system of linear equations and sometimes they are also called linear equation in two variables. See we have two variables x and y. So now I am sure you not get confused if any of these names are used anywhere to denote these equations. Like we have just learned that the simultaneous equations can be called by different names. Similarly, the simultaneous equations can be solved by different ways. The first method, as you can see, goes by the name elimination by substitution. So basically the idea is very simple. We try to reduce the linear equation in two variable into a linear equation in one variable. That is, we eliminate either x or y. It's absolutely your choice which one you want to eliminate first. The second method is elimination by making the coefficients equal. So again, the idea is same that we are trying to eliminate one variable. But the approach is different. Now, the first two methods are the standard techniques used around the world to solve simultaneous equations. And as you can imagine, that they are a little longer as they involve number of steps. Whereas this third method is what you saw me using few moments back to solve this equation in 10 seconds. It is direct. Therefore, it is very fast and easy. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll solve the same question using all the three methods one after another and then you can decide which method you find best. So now I'm going to solve these equations using the substitution method. Now as you can see I had to reduce the font size so that we get ample space to write down all the steps. You know what I'm hinting at. This method is little long so please be little patient. <laughs> okay. So let's first name these equations. Let me call this first equation as 1 and the second equation as 2. So what we have to do, we have to find the value of y from this equation and substitute it into the other equation. And this way we would eliminate y. So 5x plus 2y equal to 12. So this means 2y equal to 12 minus 5x. Isn't it? When this positive 5x will go to the other side, it will become negative 5x. So now take this 2 to the other side as well. You will have y equal to 12 minus 5x divided by 2 as this 2 was being times here. So now we have this value of y. So we can substitute this entire value into this other equation. So we would have 7x plus 3 and in place of this y put this value equal to 70. Now as you can see we have eliminated y. In this equation we don't have any y. See you can't see any y here. So that means this is a linear equation in one variable. So now you can solve it. Now as you can see it has this denominator 2. So we must get rid of it. How? By multiplying both sides of the equation by 2. See, now this 2 cancels out. So now simplify it. This is 14x. And we can open the bracket. This would become 36. 312 times is, right? 36 and this would become minus 15x and this would become 34 so 14x minus 15x would be minus x and 34 minus 36 will be minus 2 now since minus minus is on both the sides so we can simply cancel it out and finally, we have managed to find out the value of x. x is equal to 2. But still, 
even after doing all this hard work, our job is only half done. Why? Because we still have to find the value of y. But we can do that very easily. Simply put this value of x here and you'll get the value of y. Minus 5 times 2 would be minus 10. So 12 minus 10 would be 2 and 2 divided by 2 will be 1. So y is equal to 1. And now the question is solved x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1. So this was the substitution method for you. So tell me honestly, how did you find it? Uh, did you say long and complicated? Okay, so now let me show you the second usual way. I'm sure you'll find that much better. Now the usual way too, as you know, is elimination by making the coefficients equal. So basically, we would make one out of these two coefficients pair equal so that we can cancel them out. I'll prefer this one as 3 and 2 are smaller numbers as compared to 7 and 5. So just multiply this coefficient with this other equation completely and multiply this coefficient with this equation completely. Now just simplify it. 2 times 7x would be 14x and 2 times 3y would be 6y and 2 times 17 would be similarly 3 times 5x would be and 3 times 2y would be and 3 times 12 is 36 now as you can see we have managed to make one pair of coefficients equal. See? So now we can easily cancel them out by subtracting this equation from this equation. And subtraction in algebra means changing the sign and then adding the terms. So this is positive 15x, so it will become negative. This is positive, so it will become negative. This is positive, so it will also become negative. Now 14x minus 15x would be minus x. Now plus 6y and minus 6y, they will cancel each other out. See, they get eliminated. And 34 minus 36 is minus 2. Now since minus is present on both the sides, so we can simply remove it. And we have the value of x. x is equal to 2. Now once you have the value of one variable, finding the value of other variable, it is very easy. And it is more or less same in every method. Just put this value of x in any of these two equations. I'll prefer this one. So 5 times 2 is 10. 10 plus 2y is equal to 12. So that means 2y equal to 12 minus 10, which is nothing but 2. 2y equal to 12 minus 10 that is 2 so y is equal to 2 divided by 2 which is nothing but 1 and we have solved the question x is equal to 2 y is equal to 1 so now I'm sure that you must be eagerly waiting to learn the third method that is the direct easy cal trick to solve any simultaneous equations in just few seconds. But you see, I don't want to overload you with information in this video. So we'll be learning that method in the next video. So you take a break and as soon as you're fresh again, you can load the next video.